okay so to understand the concept of synchronization let us create a class counter main that is a main class so let me just create one more class so here i will create a class counter or inside it i am just adding a static variable static int count is a variable its initial value is zero right now i will or i am adding a method public static method the method name is set count right so i am just adding a method in order to counting a number so i will just use a for loop from i is equal one to i less than or equal one thousand so this loop will iterate from one to one thousand or inside it we are just incrementing the value of count counter dot count plus plus so this is a class or we can see this is a shared resource right so this counter class which is counting the number from 1 to 1000 now come to the main class or inside the main class or before creating the main class let me create a thread class class my thread right or this will extend the thread class okay so you can create a thread by implementing runnable interface also inside it i am just adding a variable of private type private int a uh, thread thread number that will store the thread number right now i will add a constructor in order to set the thread number so i will just generate some constructor by using the field i will remove the super it is not required or inside it i will just override the run method so you will again go to the source override the run method so you can override the run methods here we go you can see this is the output of it or inside this run method we are simply just calling the function counter dot set count or i will display statement System dot out dot print ln or inside it the thread the thread or particular the thread number thread number I will display message is over right so this program we have created let me just show you this is a counter class that will count from zero to one thousand from 1 to 1000 initial value of count is 0 we have created a thread class using or by extending a thread class or inside the run method we are just calling the set count function right so let us move to the main class or inside it we will create the multiple objects of a my thread class my thread t1 is equal new my thread or inside it you can pass the thread number or in the similar way you can create one more thread or that thread t2 and thread number is 2 here right or you can start for the threads t1 dot start right or in the similar way t2 dot start we are starting for the threads or i will write the body of a main thread or inside it i will just display the value of the counter means after starting both the threads i will just see what is the value of a count variable value of the count so you can just access it using counter dot count right so in order to ensure that your main thread body will exit at the end you can just call the join function on t1 and t2 so you can write t1.join and it always 
underscore an exception so you can just round it with try or catch so simply you can write t1 dot join or t2 dot join right so your program is completed now and i will show you you will run it and i will show you how it worked and what will be the output of it so let us see you can see what is the output of it so here you can see the thread one is over the thread two is over and it is showing the value of the count is 1171 but if you will run this program multiple times it will show the different value of a count right now it is showing one two five six if you will run it one more time so the value of the count is one three two four but you can see you are calling or you are executing the thread body by thread t1 and thread t2 two times here right or you are calling this function set count which is counting from 1 to 1000 and here your output must be 2000 right your counter value must be 2000 but for every run it is showing the different value or we can say this is the inconsistent value so why it is showing in this example each thread increments the counter 1000 times so ideally the counter should reach 2000 however due to concurrent modifications without synchronization you will likely to see the different or incorrect result every time you are running this programs so this program is not synchronized and multiple threads are executing or multiple threads are trying to access the shareable resource that is a count and due to that your value is lost and it is not showing the correct value right it is not showing the correct value and some wrong value or inconsistent value of a variable count is showing right so here there is a need of synchronization so how can you provide the synchronization let us understand So how will you implement the thread synchronization when multiple threads are concurrently executing the shared resource? So we have two different ways to implement the thread synchronization. You can create a synchronized method or the second way is you can create a synchronized block. So in this video session, we will discuss only the first method, how to create a synchronized method. So you will simply create a method as synchronized in order to make is synchronize so whenever you will define some method as a synchronize so only one thread will access that critical section at one time so let me help you to understand how the concept of synchronization work so here we go you can see the working process of synchronization for example we have some method or the method or shareable method that multiple threads are trying to use it so whenever you will just create your method as synchronized, so how it will work. So here is a code, here is a code, you can see synchronized methods or a block, or we can say this is a critical section in terms of a technical language. So when multiple threads are trying to enter inside this critical section, so only one thread will enter inside this critical section and thread one acquire a lock and start its execution. So only the thread one will use this critical section until and unless the thread one will not release this lock. And this lock is known as the monitor lock. So here you can see the multiple threads are trying to execute or trying to enter inside this critical section. But only the thread one got the chance to enter inside this critical section. In this case, the thread one will acquire a lock and start its execution. After it, the thread will come out from this critical section or it will release the lock then thread 2 will enter inside this critical section thread 2 will acquire a lock and it starts its execution at the same time or the same process will continue for the other threads also so whenever you will define some method as a synchronized right so it allow you it allow only one thread will access a particular shareable resource and the rest thread will wait right so here there is a concept of locking system and this lock is known as a monitor lock so let us move to the eclipse id and understand with the help of a program how will you create a synchronized method 
in order to get the consistent output. Okay, so let us understand how will you make your method or how will you create a synchronized method in order to access a shareable resource. So you can prevent your data inconsistency or some erroneous behavior of a thread. So simply you will just write the synchronized keyword. Here you will write the synchronized keyword. So your method will be synchronized. So public synchronized static void set count. Because inside it we are incrementing the value of a count variable. That is the shareable resource. Right. So only... The thing is you have to add the synchronized keyword after this access specifier right so now your method is synchronized and rest code is the same let us run this program and you will see the output so here we go you can see the thread 2 and thread 1 is over and even okay we have not saved the program let me just save this program and you will see the output so please pardon me we have not saved the program that's why it is showing the value incorrect okay so it is showing the value 1998 because your loop will iterate from 1 to 1000 means less than 1000 so it will loop will iterate till triple nine number right 999 so if you will write i is equal or i is less than or equal 1000 so you will get the exact number right you will get the exact number 2000 let us save this program and here we go you can see the output so guys please correct that was a small error in the program not error that, that was a small mistake typo error we can see so your loop will start from 1 to less than or equal to 1000 so even multiple times you will run this program right you will get the same consistent output you will not get the different values right you will not get the different values but if your method will not be synchronized, right? If your method will not be synchronized, it will show the inconsistent value for each run. You can see here, right? So guys, this is the way how can you make your method as a synchronized in order to get the consistent output, right? So this is very important, you know, concept of multi-threading to provide the synchronization when multiple threads are trying to access the shareable resource you have to create, you have to make your resource as synchronized, right? So guys, I hope you understand the concept of synchronization in multi-threading or you also understand what is the need of synchronization and if you will not make your program as synchronized, what kind of inconsistency you will get inside your programs. So guys, enjoy the journey of this multi-threading concepts. I hope you understand this concept. Guys, if you like this concept, so please give your feedback right in the comment section thank you bye bye for now in the next section or in the next video session i will show you how to provide the synchronization using different technique that is synchronized block how will you create the a block as a synchronized bye bye for now have a great day